Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. It is Friday, March 24th, I believe, and I am here to tell you about all the wonderful things that are happening in and around Missoula, in Montana, nation, and even the world um, today on my morning show, Wake Up Missoula. I got a lot of stuff, a lot of videos to show you. I'm going to show you some of the new stuff that's happening on MCAT that involves some of the um, um, the newest things. So you, got, uh, you got the uh, recital. We have a recital part of it. We got weather. We got news. We just, oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff. We even got Flagship Friday and dubbing stuff. And of course, I'm prejudging a whole bunch of movies before I even know it called Pre-Critic. So we'll have that later on in the show, but we're going to kick things off with a little bit of weather. And it is currently 27 degrees outside. It's going to get much warmer into the 50s. We're in the 50 degree weather, folks. Um, and then I'll, I'll soon tell you and make a note of um, 60 degree weather pretty soon. But this is the second week we've had 50 degree weather. It's looking pretty nice. You know, it's going to be pretty sunny. Then there's that 20% chance of showers. Tonight, you have that 60% chance of showers. Slow down. And then by Sunday, you're going to be partly sunny with a high of 54 degrees. Sunday night, you have that 20 to 50 percent chance of showers going into your Monday, but you can expect just, you know, limited showers. It's not going to be too bad, but weather is um, contributing to uh, some of the warm weather, which is causing some runoff in some communities um, in in Missoula. So vast puddles have filled the streets and sandbags were stacked up to prevent water from running into adjacent houses. Storm drains up to the blocks away are backed up, forming intersections and spanning lakes across neighborhoods marked water on the street signs. Um, East Beckwith had some flooding the other day. Um, some may have even lingered on to today. Uh, now it is uh, springtime because the runoff from the snow in the mountains uh, are melting and coming down the, to the valley. University of Montana rental houses are the ones to be mostly hit and um, some students may expect uh, getting a little bit wet when they come home from spring break. Uh, don't let that don't let that um, deter you from thinking that oh you know we're gonna have an easier fire season. It's not. You, we usually dry up pretty quickly. Uh, we usually get pretty wet pretty fast, and then it goes back into our aquifer pretty quickly, and then right away we are just as dry enough to have all these fires during the fire season. So we look forward to that. Moving on, um, I'm gonna state the election between Gianforte and Quist are getting heated when rural communities out of Roosevelt County, Gary McDonald told folks in Helena, it's convenient for people and saving us a pile of money. Um, the legislation, uh, legislature in Montana considered a mail-in ballot only election to help save money. Uh, feelings ran hot as the room had to be cleared. Several people who came to testify f were from county commissioners from across the state and told committee how long they had traveled to Helena with some driving several hours and several, several hundreds of miles like McDonald. Um, Blaine County Commissioner Frank DePress said he, uh, his county had cut $600,000 out of its budget this year and froze wages. He said that the anticipated spending $20,000 on the election by voting by mail could save eight to $10,000 in each county. Um, after Libertarian Party leader Mike Fellows died last election, ballots had to be recalled, costing Montana millions of dollars. Of course, no action was taken on this bill. Uh, several people who live in Montana's Indian Reservation said that the bill could have limited their access to voting because many people in their communities don't even have mailboxes in their homes, um, which seems kind of weird, but I'm not a registered voter in those regions, and you don't really need a mailbox to get mail, just so you know. Um, in national news, uh, looks like people with pre-existing health issues are uh, health care, I mean, the people who have pre-existing health care issues, their health care is being threatened. With the uh, new House bill, Americans, it's called the American Health Care Act, formerly Affordable Care Act. Now it's like uh, the, the, f uh, the fun term, it's called Obama care light. Um, it's getting rid of a requirement or trimming it is essential to Republican strategy because they say that those benefits drive up insurance premiums so much that healthy people won't buy coverage. But if Republicans repeal the list, they essentially, um, 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 let's see, uh, they, they've repeated over and over voters that, that they will protect people with pre-existing medical conditions, even though it doesn't help. But before the Affordable Care Act went into effect, insurance companies routinely found ways to avoid paying for expensive health care. Beyond refusing to cover people with existing medical conditions, they sold policies that included uh, coverage for some medi medical care, including parental care, childbirth, and mental health care. These are they put this as an additional uh, health care cost. So they have the pr the basic health care costs, routine ones, and then there's the additional stuff which they also um, put in there. But of course, just putting things to perspective. 
some maternity care and child care costs about thirty thousand dollars for uh, vaginal delivery families who have coverage before the affordable care act were essentially prepaying for the care they were getting so um, I got this information from NPR.org. You can look up more, and um, you can also look up this uh, um, by Googling American um, Healthcare Act. That's the that's what the um, the term for the new healthcare. But you, of course, you can always look up Obamacare Light. That also will show you results as well. Uh, in the world news, uh, ISIS claims yet another attack, uh, and this one involves Westminster Parliament in London, England. The man who is believed to have carried out a deadly attack near UK Parliament has been identified by Britain's Metropolitan Police as 52-year-old uh, Khalid Massoon. Uh, he drove a small um, SUV through pedestrians before crashing into a fence near Parliament. Suspects used knives to kill, uh, attack and kill police officer before being shot and killed himself by police officials. Uh, two civilians and one cop were killed in the attack. MI5 came out there is no connection to ISIS, as ISIS has been known to use direct and indirect terrorism to force opinion and change um, among countries, um, like the United Kingdoms, who have been trying to get out of the European Union for over a year now. Um, in addition to 12 Britons, there are four Koreans, um, three French children, uh, two remain and two Greeks, along with um, nationals of the uh, of the U.S., Germany, Poland, Ireland, China, Italy, and other nations who were injured in the attack. Um, they released an, a U.S. man um, name out of uh, Salt Lake City, Kirk Cochran, who was confirmed to be one of the um, killed in the attack. Um, but I have some new, uh, so that concludes everything you need to know about what's happening in and around the world today. Um, I have some new programs I'm going to show you guys, but first I'm going to throw up to my website. You can learn more information by going on to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice we made you write it all twice. You can subscribe to us on YouTube, um, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. You can see past videos, past interviews I've done of uh, people in the community doing their upcoming events and more. Um, you can also go to mcat.org to find out um, the more... Uh, on the channel type news stuff and uh, MCAT is going to be hosting a nice little uh, party on Cinco de Mayo which is uh, May 5th which is also uh, first Friday um, MCAT will be hosting a nice little party to kind of help celebrate the community um, MCAT's going to be uh, celebrating its 27th year on Earth Day in the end of April but we'll be having the party on the first Friday in May at Downtown Dance Collective where we'll be highlighting our virtual reality uh, system we'll be basically bringing it down there we'll, it'll be like it, it's basically going to be a very expensive party favor where people just hang out and just um, check it all out. I, I, I don't want to say party favor because party favors you just basically walk a home, walk home with. You can take this home with you, but it's a, it's a party. Uh, I guess it's more like a party uh, a trick in a way. So you guys are welcome to join us. Um, it's open to the public. Um, hence First Friday, a lot of stuff is free to the public just to come out and check us out and learn more about MCAT. You can also uh, come into MCAT anytime between our open hours. Our public hours are 11 to 7 p.m. Um, and you can call us at 542-6228. You can also, uh, also the number is 542-MCAT um, if you still use uh, letters to call people. Uh, you can also uh, email us MCAT at, at MCAT.org. You can request a recording. I have a bunch of new programs happening for you guys. Um, the first one is a recital uh, featuring Steve Hessler. And it's a faculty recital. We have Art, uh, Arts and Above, which is a new nonprofit that started here in Missoula. Um, uh, we'll be featuring. Uh, we'll also be featuring the Wilderness Issues Lecture Series, which I believe this is the very first one that we're showing on MCAT. So uh, the series will run. It usually runs about 12 to 15 episodes, really depending upon uh, how much content we we get from them. So we uh, go out and we shoot a lot of these events, uh, a lot of these lectures, a lot of these causes here in Missoula, just kind of capturing uh, what Missoula is all about and showing it on our channel 189 and you can also go on to MCAT.org to watch it anytime because um, that's how I got these clips is I was able to download it from our website and I, I basically trimmed it so you can see a little taste of what you guys can expect this weekend that's new on MCAT but without further ado here is Meg's Media Assistant Grants on MCAT.
In most inverted days, the sunset still to me has this, this sense of things are closing down, new stuff is going to happen, and I find the colors to be pleasant, even though I know that it's all because of dirty air that they're really nice. I still enjoy the colors. It's this sentence with all of my teenagers who read this book was the most impactful sentence in probably the first 200 pages. It takes a little while to get into the book, but still, that first sentence, they're like, nobody, nobody describes a sunset that way. Nobody. But it really leads you into thinking about how does Tally think about her environment? Hey guys, welcome back. I have a pre-critic for you guys. There's a bunch of movies coming out, and one of them is Alien. I mean, life. I mean, yeah, it life yeah that's what it's called um so it's a movie that's basically about astronauts who get attacked by an alien creature thing and the alien creature thing tries to get on earth so it can kill everything on the planet kind of like the thing or i mean john carpenter's the thing because it's actually a remake but i don't want to get into that it's time for a pre-critic here is the first one from the makers of stealing people's ideas about an alien that could destroy all human life but has to survive a crew of astronauts bent on killing it uh, comes life. Um, a story about a strong independent alien who just wants to destroy all life on Earth by some one line from a trailer. The stars are Ryan Reynolds and brother Jake Gyllenhaal. They look more like than Jake and his sister Maggie, but anyways. See how these guys fight an alien in an enclosed space just like the movie Alien. So enjoy this uh, hodgepodge of a movie about Alien. Um, Chips, did you like the uh, Starskin Hutch TV show turned into a movie remake? Oh, then you're going to love this comedy based on a show that took itself seriously but was made fun of so much that people think that it was just a comedy, um, which it actually wasn't. Chips wasn't a comedy. Um, Chips... Um, Premiering this week starring actors who have starred in many roles that are comedic and of course Michael Pena who is I actually think who is a really good actor who has a good range could carry this garbage pile of a movie but let's not forget it's not the actor who makes a good movie. The next up we got speaking of the greatest most anticipated movie yet to come Power Rangers. It's kind of like becoming a Texas Ranger but with like space enemies and less kicking. Uh, from the color palette that has inspired youth cultures to associate each ranger with an ethnic identity comes a movie that solves the problem by shifting the character and color just enough to not make a big deal like I'm making for some reason. Um, anyways, um, um, expect another Twilight-acted movie with little to no point except 
to be a box office draw for people my age, you know, late 20s, early 30s, people who actually got into Power Rangers, and then maybe a couple like um, years younger than me were just like, oh, you, you actually like Power Rangers? Power Rangers is totally uncool. I'm like, <laughs> and that's basically it. I think I've gotten all the way to... Um, how far did I get into the Power Rangers? Because I got the first Power Rangers, the original. Uh, I I kept watching until probably about, um, I think it was Lost Galaxy. I think Lost Galaxy after that was just like, okay, things are getting kind of crazy. Um, they were good. I liked them. They were cheesy. You got, what you, you, you got what you watched. Basically, you have a bunch of teenagers who have to deal with like a personal struggle in that episode and then routinely fight a monster. The monster would get big. Morphin time, they'd be in a giant robot, then they fight a monster, and then once in a while they had an episode where there's like, oh no, it's a two-parter. Looks like the big, uh, our big robot thing couldn't fight the monster. Oh well. And then they had to basically come back and then fight the giant monster basically a little bit differently to defeat it. So enjoy another remake of another uh, beloved franchise that basically will pull at your nostalgia strings or enough people's nostalgia strings to uh, qualify for uh, money in terms of gross and net profit. Um, but that concludes Pre-Critic. I have a new movie for you guys in terms of um, the way I redubbed um, called Dubbing Stuff. And this one features the movie Dementia 13. It's public domain, so obviously Dementia 13 kind of sounds like super D horror movie. And without further ado, here's dubbing stuff. And when I come back, I'll talk everything about all your events that are happening in and around Missoula for your weekend. <laughs> boom, baby, boom. Disco Inferno. Boom, baby, boom. <clears throat> oh, hey, uh, how you doing over there? You need uh, more fire to be... Uh, you know, on the fire? Uh, I probably should say it's, you know, more wood that's on the fire to make things heat up a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> Look what I got in my hand right here. It's pretty awesome. Is it a cure for my cancer? I could really use a cure for cancer. Uh, I'm afraid not. You see, you have a very rare form of cancer. It's, um, it's a placebo kind of cancer, you know? where some people actually believe that they have cancer when they actually don't, just to get attention. Do you know the story of the boy who cried wolf? He would tell the villagers that there's a wolf coming when there was no wolf. Then he died of cancer. My cancer has nothing to do with a wolf. My cancer's different. Well, uh, I really feel sorry for you. Maybe you do have a cancer of some sorts. Maybe we all have to deal with the cancer of our own construct. <laughs> you and me are going to live it up tonight, aren't we? Huh? Isn't that right? Do, 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 do. Come in, will ya? And how we doing over here, ma'am? And what is he doing here? I was just comforting Miss Pettigrew here. He was telling me stories about wolves! You don't say. Well, what do you gotta say for yourself? Uh, it's the boy who cried wolf. I'm just making a comparison to her cancer. Well, you know, the boy who cried wolf. I'm afraid of wolves come now. On, come on, you know, I'm just, you know, talking to myself, a uh, soliloquy and all that stuff. He doesn't believe I have placebo cancer. It's a darn shame. Good whoa, day. Whoa, 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 I I'm not a horrible person. I want fruit roll-ups. I want it out of that weird paper thing, because last time I ate it, it, oh, man, it was weird. Hey, hey, psst. I want you to say no wrapper with my fruit roll-ups, okay? Mm-hmm. No wrapper. Mm, fruit roll ups. Mm. <clears throat> what are you still doing here? And now it's time for your events. Let's kick it off with our very first event um, this weekend. Uh, actually, I'm going to throw it to um, some library uh, um, events and um, your nightly events. There's not really much really going on this Friday to kind of highlight what's um, really happening. Uh, let me just bring that up. I have a whole bunch of like vegetables I've been eating this morning. So <laughs> just bear with me. I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. uh, da -da -da. No, 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 no. 
Um, I can just tell you about Saturday events. Um, there are some. There's barely any events really going on, but I'm getting this from MissoulaEvents.net, and it's acting pretty slow today. So let me just uh, go through the Saturday uh, events for you guys. No, maybe I don't know. Uh, all right. Oh, here it is. All right. So for your um, music events, you have. Um, uh, nope, it, it's not. It's still loading. Still trying to think of things to say. So I uh, hope you guys have a good uh, weekend as well planned. Um, if you guys are planning on staying in and if you have any kids who are age 9 to 13, you be sure to join our Stop, Mation, Stop Animation drop-in from 1 to 5 p.m. It's for kids age 9 to 13. It is a wonderful resource. It allows kids to make their own short little videos and more. Uh, uh, last weekend, I, we made like an 11-minute uh, video. So I wanted to show it on Wednesday, but it's like we weren't going to have enough time to show that length of a movie. Uh, I try to keep them fairly short. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's start off with the uh, very, f uh, th let's start right off with some of the Missoula Public Library events and then we'll go into your music events. So Missoula Public Library, they're doing Tiny Tales this morning at 10.30 a.m. A family story time for a little bit older kids but still need a, a parent or guardian to be with them along the same way. They're going to meet at the Dragon Rug and they're also going to be meeting at the large meeting room at the Missoula Public Library. Um, Water, watercolor and painting class is at 12. It's limited for people, so y you guys probably want to jump in on that as soon as possible. It's going to be at 12 at the Missoula Public Library. Uh, Yarns is also a Missoula Public Library, but this is more in terms of less painting and more like learning to knit, crochet, and all that stuff. Um, open space at the Makerspace is at 1 p.m. this afternoon. You can check that out. They have a 3D printer. Yeah, it's a nice little place where you can create things from the ground up. Uh, you also have time for a movie break. They're doing another movie for uh, uh, your afternoon at 3 p.m. at the Missoula Public Library, usually in the large meeting room. They show movies. Uh, you can call them at 721-BOOK for more information. Uh, teen Writers Group is happening at 3.30 p.m. It's to help improve teens who uh, need improvement with their writing skills and in terms of um, just like um, constructive criticism. Here are some of your nightly events that are happening. Um, Andrea Herschel is at 6 p.m. at the Mon Montana Missoula Brewing Company Highlander Tap Room. They're going to be playing rock music. Um, you have live music by Malarkey. is going to be playing at Ten Spoon Winery t um, this evening. An evening of song without words is going to be playing at River Valley Church. It's classical music. Um, from what there, he's a cello player, and he just plays cello music at the church. And it's going to be at 6.30 p.m. at River Valley Church. Um, Green Ski Bluegrass is playing at the Wilma Theater tonight at 7 p.m. You can go check that out. It's bluegrass music. And, hey, Missoula is all about bluegrass music, right? Um, you got uh, Roderick Dur Duran album party. So uh, it's going to be at the Loft Missoula, which is the second floor just off of Main Street. I was told that it's an exclusive place, but it's not really. It's just it's just a venue. Um, <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to get a call from <laughs> that person. Uh, Royal Takeover is going to be at the Badlander at 9 p.m. tonight. Um, Two Foot Titan is going to be at Monk's. It's going to be rock music. Horseshoe and the Hand Grenades is Rabbit Wild is going to be at the Top Hat Lounge. It's going to be Folk, bluegrass music. Joan Zen Band is going to play at the Union Club. That should be a fun time. War Pony, Lucas Bespiel, and uh, Sam Waldorf will be playing at VFW tonight. And those are some of your Friday night events. I have a new, I have an art clip that I want to show you guys, and it's being featured at the Clay Studio of Missoula. I'll be able to show this two more times, and then it'll be all over by March 31st. You guys got to go check out the Clay Studio. It is wonderful 3D art. Um, which basically was original 3D art before uh, 3D was a thing.
thanks again to our very own Rick Phillips for um, creating and producing that for our channel. Um, he produces, uh, he does a lot of um, art installations in and around Missoula. Just kind of give a little, like, nice little capture because a lot of art installations don't last forever. But with thanks to Rick Phillip um, from MCAT, it can last forever here at MCAT. And you can watch any of those anytime by logging on to MCAT.org to see old and current installations at museums in and around Missoula. All right, so let's talk about some Saturday events. I highlighted a bunch of Saturday events because a lot of cool things are happening Saturday. There's a lot of fourth annual stuff happening. Fourth annual Jack Rikaka, Rikana <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Memorial Rigby Sevens Tournament. Woo! University of Montana starting bright and early. Uh, dear Missoula Business Organization and community members, greeting. My name is Jack Ricana, a senior at Big Sky High School. I've played rugby for the Missoula Mud Dogs for three years and with the Trolls for two. I started playing rugby um, because my brother Jack and and, and so did the rest of my family. Rugby has become a big part of my life. On December um, 18th, 2012, my brother Jack committed suicide with the loss of Jack in his, uh, it left a hole in our family that rugby was able to fill. With each game I play, I bring uh, remembrance of him and how he, how we got started with the rugby. This, w with this unexpected tragedy, it brought up a uh, question of how many of us are actually aware of signs of suicide. The progress of learning about these inspired us to p pave a way for bringing awareness to help the community. So they're doing a rugby tournament at the University of Montana starting at 8 a.m. to in, uh, in memorial of uh, Jack Ricana. All right, you can check that out. There's also a fourth annual Prune the Moon. Um, it's joined Saturday, March 25th, tomorrow morning from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for a day of apple tree pruning at the Moon um, Randolph Homestead. It kind of seems like they want you to do some pruning for their house. Um, help, help them take care of the century-old apple trees first planted in 1889 by Ray Moon himself. Experienced pruners are encouraged to attend or come and learn about the art of tree pruning with ecologist, forester, and soul scientist Mark Van Der Meer of Bad Goat Forest Pr Products and Watershed Consulting. And this ha is happening all day tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's going to be at the Moon Randolph Homestead, 1515 Spurlock Road. You can check that out. You can also go to MissoulaEvents.net for more information about who to call and where to get more information. Um, the Right Stuff with Jack uh, Shiflet is Living Art of Montana is be writing is the painting of the, the voice. Um, a Living Art of Montana drop-in Saturday writing workshop uh, facilitated by Jack Shiflet. The uh, the Right Stuff is for writers and non-writers alike. They use essays, guide writing prompts, and explore writing as told by self-expression, offered free and charge adults um, 18 or up dealing with an illness or loss, not experience, no experience is necessary. For any questions, you can call them at 549-5329. Living Art is placed place to create, share, and heal. You can go to livingartsofmontana.org for more information, and this is happening from 1030 to 1230 p.m. So it's a, a nice little morning, two-hour deal, um, and again, the number is 549-5329. Uh, furs, skulls, and skins with uh, Trekker Kids, uh, Travelers Rest State Park. Animals are living their lives up all around us all the time. What do they eat? Who are their families? Where do they sleep in? I imagine a day in the life of a fox, deer, otter, skunk, lynx, or a mountain lion. Um, feel the furs, um, handle skulls, and hold antlers. Get close and personal with the wildlife. This program is part of the Trekker Kids series and is open to kids around 5 to 10 years of age. Um, the program and the children's family celebrate the outdoors of Western Montana through the rich history of Traveler's Rest Site. Regular programs are held every Saturday at 11 a.m. unless otherwise posted. So Traveler's Rest, 11 a.m., learn about some of the animals, check out the skulls, fill the furs, just to kind of get a scope of, and these are used for educational purposes, just so you guys know. Um, so MCAT Saturday drop-in is happening from 1 to 5 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. You guys can totally join us. Come down to MCAT any, uh, any of those times between one to five your kids get to do some stop animation live, some live action they get to play with our uh, li uh virtual reality vibe thing and i also have a hoverboard and kids seem to really like that besides creating <laughs> they, they like to do things um for sure and a lot of times the kids are really into stop animation and it's a great way for kids to learn patience and 
um, work on projects, basically find a way to concentrate with something. It's, it feels like um, sometimes when they're here, it's kind of like an assembly line of stop animators coming through here. Uh, Rapunzel, and speaking of kids, uh, Rapunzel performances, MC, um, the Missoula Children's Theater, the children's part of MCT, will be putting on performance today at tomorrow at 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Uh, would it surprise you to know that the story of Rapunzel happened in France? Well, it didn't really, but the, the, their story at MCT take, takes you on a um, fr um, frivolous frolic through the French countryside. The, um, the ogre's garden and the mushroom patch while the corn and potato um, spies report back to um, Madame Gothel. Uh, Frenchie and his intense friends, the wood elves, do their best to help Rapunzel escape the grasp of Madame Gothel. The lost prince, Rapunzel's parents, and her friends, the unicorns, try to help. Just when you think it's safe to cross the bridge, a troll and three billy goats gruff get in the way. It doesn't help that the three bears, or is it four, confuse Rapunzel with Goldilocks and chase her through the forest, <laughs> had the gremlins trying to play tricks on everyone, and you have chaos. Well, it's not that bad because the pixies of the gremlins plans most of their time. In short, Rapunzel and all the rest of the characters tell a silly tale of personal triumph and friendship. Whew! That's a lot they put into this play, but it's all original at the MCT, most of their children plays are all original. Community plays are scripts that they get from Broadway or off-Broadway production type stuff. And uh, all these children's shows are always wonderful, and they're written by the MCT staff themselves. And you can totally check that out. It is for kids, and it's happening um, this weekend. And I think they might happen in one more weekend, but you may want to double check because this is a very limited time for this to happen, and it really help, helps celebrate kids and express themselves through acting and performance. Um, Dancers of Universal Peace, March 2017, 6 p.m. tomorrow at the Harshalom um, Jewish Community Center. These uh, easy circle dance touch hearts and inspire feelings of love, joy, and even awe. They bring people together with live music and move in harmony using short phrases from the world's sacred tradition. No musical or dance experience required or religious experience required. Any, everybody's welcome. No partner is needed as well. So if you don't need to bring a date or if you want to bring a date, just, hey, look how, look how uh, awesome I am bringing you to this place. It's cool. Um, and the leader teaches the words, melody, and movement before each dance chants are short and repeated many times so learn it, to, it learning is quick and easy you can check that out it's a five to twenty dollar suggested donation based on how you feel um and this is to be again at 6 p.m in a harsh shalom community center it's across from the ywca it's going to be great speaking of dance bear bay dance uh, presents surge um mcat's going to be filming this next friday uh, but they're going to be uh, having this for quite a bit of time, and it's since uh, Bear Bay Dance has a res residency at the University of Montana, starting um, tomorrow night at 8 p.m., um, University of Montana. It's I believe it's going to be the Massacre Theater. They usually do have the Massacre. Massacre Theater, but if they're pointed, if they point you in other direction, be sure to check that out. It's a showcase-style pr production pairing Missoula's professional choreographers with local musicians and set the dynamics of BBD, Bear Bay Dance Company members plus guests join for the splendid concert of Western Montana's finest musicians and dancers, pushing boundaries and inspiring new works. Contemporary dance. You can check that out. Um, here are some of your Friday um, music events. I mean, your Saturday music events. I'm stuck on Friday. I'm so glad it's Friday, aren't you? I'm so happy that it's Friday. But here are some of your um, your Saturday night events. You have, um, let's see. <laughs> Wilma Theater is having the infamous String Dusters, the Law of Gravity tour. It's going to be bluegrass music. So it's all about bluegrass this weekend at the Wilma and... The Top Hat Lounge. Uh, song, and then you got um, at Monks, you got Hip Hop. Sam uh, Lok Chow is going to be at Monks. I don't know who that is, but if you know who it is, great. Um, absolutely, with Chris Moon, it's going to be a music DJ. Just play a lot of top 40s and a mm -ch -mm -ch music. <laughs> it's going to be at the Ballander. Uh, the Works. Um, it's works without the O. It's like W E R K S is gonna be at the Top Hat Lounge. It's gonna be a music, a jam rock band, and then Letter B is gonna be at Union Club um, tomorrow night at 9:30. Uh, live music with Battle Stations and uh, Velvet Handlebars. It will be at the VFW tomorrow night, wrapping up for your weekend events. There's a whole bunch of other stuff here as well. They have Irish Folk Jam on Sunday. Um, these are all just like kind of like early, like happy hour type um, events. Jazz on the River, Imagination Brewing Company, The Growlers at the Wilma Theater, G Love and Special Sauce is going to be at the Top Hat Lounge at 7 p.m. 
um, Sunday evening. So all these events and more, you can go on to MissoulaEvents.net to find out more information. MCAT, also on our channel, our message board, also shows a bunch of the events that are coming up as well. Um, but it is Friday, and every Friday I like to show the flagship Friday video of the week, and here are the kids who star out of CS Porter. I, my grammar is terrible today. I'm sorry. It's Friday. Let's get this over with. <laughs> All right. Here's Flakeship Friday video of the week. Pun is sure. Why did the chicken cross the road? Because it was stupid. <gasps> Chickens. Road. That must be the FFA. The FAF? No. The, fu the Future Farmers oh, Association. Association. Oh. Then let's, let's hurry. Let's go. Leave. You don't say. Wait, w where are you? He's putting bad one-liners on the victim. Ah! Oh no! <gasps> it's the killer. Yeah, it's eh? Let's get him. Ah! What the? Why are you guys doing that? What did the mustard squish the tomato? Get off. Because he wouldn't catch up. Killed my best friend. Why are you stepping on his hand? Oh, wait, sorry. So you're the one making all those cheesy one-liners. You horrible person. That wasn't me. I just discovered the body. You don't believe me, don't you? No, not really. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't. Let's take them to the principal and see what they think. You're guilty of this. You can't arrest me. You're not I think I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I'll, I'll come with you. Make sure nothing bad happens. You're not arresting me. You're not a cop. Oh, yeah. Ah! <gasps> I told you I wasn't the killer! Okay, let's go! Oh, see? no! Not me! Burn! I was going to make a pizza joke, but it was too cheesy. Was it really squished? <gasps> the cafeteria. cafeteria! Yeah, man! Oh, here. It's the cafeteria. I don't see anything. I forgot to one letter, but it was killer. Well, I guess mystery solved. Hey. Hey guys, thanks for joining me uh, for Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Rav. You can find out more information about me and more by logging on to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula to find out all your Wake Up Missoula needs and all your videos that I've showed you guys today as, along with uh, links to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. But you can also go to mcat.org to find out more information about anything 
MCAT, everything MCAT. It's all about helping you create your own voice through a visual medium. Thank you for watching, and for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. Mm -hmm.